I'd like to start by saying thank you to the UN for giving us standard world citizens a chance to speak our minds and to let our voices be heard throughout this planet. We need to face the fact that the world today is one big nation. And as a nation, we have capable world citizens and the technology that can solve most of the problems we face today. We just need to stop the bureaucracies and the small issues that stop these citizens from accomplishing our goals. There will be no peace with war and no stopping violence with more violence. We should all look into new ways of accomplishing world peace. Weapons of mass destruction and imposing fear into someone else's land is not the answer to our problems. We are all created equal with different mindsets and social stands, but this doesn't give us the permission to overcome another nation's decision for their own people. We have to keep in mind that we all have different cultures, different ways of dealing with problems. We should have boundaries between rich and poor, black and white, Christians and Muslims, and so forth. Our nation should be open to help each other with the needs that we all have. It seems an irony that we are living so close, but so far from each other. This is the time to make the change, to look beyond the midst of cultural differences, religion beliefs, and skin color. We have reached a new millennium, and so we should act as a new millennium, learning from our past mistakes, but moving on, leaving all of the wrongdoing behind. We cannot change our past, but for sure we can change our future. And the future is now. Now is the time to act. Let us stop the hypocrisies. And let us really start thinking on how to solve the problems we are facing in front of us. And as I sit here today in my living room in the city of Belo Horizonte, capital city of Minas Gerais in Brazil, I ask you all to think more for the people. But not only your country's people, but for the whole humankind that is depending on all of you world leaders. I truly ask you to think for a moment and answer me. Our financial crisis, the new H1N1 virus, poverty, religion disputes, the real problems we are facing today, or is it greed and pride the main issues that make all these other problems a chain reaction? We all have our differences, and we all have our internal problems that need to be solved. But for once, only for once, we should look beyond our own problems and come to a consensus that if we don't work together, nothing will be achieved. Let us loose the rope a bit and try to understand each other's needs. Now is the time to come face to face with the real problems we have been seeing these past few decades. We are all in this as one. We are all in this as the United Nations. Or better said, we are all in this as one nation. We are giving the gift of free will. So let us all be free. Let us, let us have the opportunity to be heard. Let us work in peace and harmony and not strangled by one nation's idea. It is not difficult to solve our problems as long as we put real effort and we truly obey our commitments. And as I look up in the sky, I see the stars and I know someone is up there hoping we make a change. I truly believe this is now a man's voice speaking from the crowd but a voice for most of the 6 billion, 786 million people walking on the face of this planet today. So for all of you that watch this video, Shukran Jatilan, Pachoy et Spasiba, Shen Shen, Merci Bian, Grazie Mille, Muchísimas Gracias, Muito Obrigado, Thank you very much.